Hey guys, this is Locke. In uh, this video, I'm going to show you two fights where my opponents are using similar teams, but a totally different strategy. Uh, and I'm going to show you, well, how it looks like from the perspective of a person playing ranged comps against the, both these strategies and show you why one of them is a lot more effective than the other one. So uh, the first fight is four times speed because there's a lot of just waiting around and I don't want you guys to just, you know, watch people waiting around. I'm actually going to be a uh, uh, talking about some of the background for this fight because I actually played this player the day before and the day before he spent two turns buffing and then he charged after two turns of buffing and I was very easily able to kill him basically so this time he decided that after two turns of buffing he would just wait for me to approach and um, as you can see it didn't really work out and uh, I, I think there are two reasons why it would not have ended well for him if he just decided to wait for me to engage. Because one thing I could have done is I could have just taken it to, you know, like the very f last few turns and tried to attack him once with like Federica or with Corwell uh, and get the last hit in. And if I didn't get the last hit in, I, I win basically, right? Because, um, uh, you know, that's what happens on turn 50. Whoever has higher HP wins. Uh, and like, you know, say we went to turns and he gets the last turn there's nothing that he can do like he can't he can't attack with anybody there, there will never be if i'm waiting right here and he's waiting right there there will never be a chance where he can land a hit with any of his units because my interstate is too far so it's either i win or we draw if we both just wait until turn 50 but even um but you know even if you don't take a turn so i didn't take any turns i i went in like at turn 20 uh, when I got my Frederick in position to uh, land a hit on a couple of them. Um, but you can see, like, you know, I, I, like, I'm in a good position now. I, like, I know when I can engage, um, and he, there's no way that he can engage me from this position because he needs at least two turns. So I know he has a keen blade on his King Mont, but even still, like, he has to, um, uh, he, like he has to move the first turn there's no way he can land any kind of hit whereas I can because I have a lot of range so this is why if you're not playing rangers it doesn't really make sense to stay back because there's just nothing you can really do uh, I mean I approach and sure you can come in and attack me now but you can attack one of my units and obviously all of my units are very spread out so you can attack Federica but uh, even if you manage to kill her like I know my Corval is more than enough to, to be able to um, you know beat them because you know that's what that's what i do right so i i just want to contrast this with my second fight right and in my second fight my opponent is rushing right away and see how much trouble i have in fact i i won the second fight as well but i won it only because of luck i landed two hits which had less than a 50 percent chance to to hit and so that was like almost completely by luck that i won um but really, I mean, I, I think the mistake that he made here in the beginning was he waited two turns because if you if you wait two turns while I'm playing Rangers, you give me a lot of time to set up to get my buffs in and then it's so much easier for me to win. Now take a look again versus this player. This is a second fight and this guy, he, he doesn't even have a team that is as uh, rush oriented as the first one because he doesn't have a keen blade unit. Instead, he has Phoebe. So the other person I played, he actually could have done this similar style of rush but even more aggressively using keen blade but he didn't um i i'm not you know I, i'm not trying to like spread any hate on either of the players all i'm doing is i'm trying to show you a teachable moment like if you're playing against me and you're playing a team like this you're playing a melee team uh you know with like ketone who can drain rush uh, and stop and um what's his name Zazan you are Zazan who you have to kill three times uh you should move towards me as you're buffing like if you if you wait two turns to buff then I've set up and once I set up and get all my buffs in I can easily take you down when you're trying to approach me but take a look here this is especially the key moment so right now I had one turn one turn to cast revitalize and then cast uh, my shield buff on all my units and now where the ketone is is giving me a lot of trouble because I have two options I can kill that Ketone in the next two turns. I can attack her now with, with my Corwell. I can attack with Federica. Then I can use Keen Blade. And then I can attack with Federica and Corwell again. And I can kill that Ketone. That's no problem. But what happens next is a huge problem for me because, um, be, well, because I, my Federica won't have any AP left to sharpshoot. 
my uh, I, I did I would not have gotten that um, uh, accuracy buff that I just used uh, so I would you know I, I would be in trouble because I, I, I would have very limited means of dealing with that Zarzan so instead of killing Ketone I decided to buff so I buffed with my um, with my uh, Corwell to give everybody the accuracy buff but by doing that now that Ketone is living so I'm having a lot of trouble. I like it's hard for me to win this fight, and, and in fact, the only reason I won is because you will see that my uh, King Mont happens to land a fifty percent chance on Ketone. If he didn't, I would very easily have lost. So I I can kill that uh, Zazan, but Ketone is really the biggest threat here because if Ketone comes in and stops my units, then I have a hard time. Uh, Actually, I couldn't have killed a Zazan because uh, I, I wasn't using a sh like a 100% hit. So, either like, however I look at this, this is a very difficult fight. And the chances are not looking good unless I get lucky, really. And I, I did win because I got lucky. Uh, Ketone is hard because if I if I take her damage down but I don't kill her, he, she's going to use Drain Force and come back to full health. Uh, so I have to kill Ketone. Uh, I also have to kill Zazan because he has to be killed three times. If he gets in range and attacks my Federica once, she's dead. So there isn't much I can do uh, besides wait for some kind of lucky hit. Um, so that's what I want to say. I mean, if you're playing a team like this, rushing me is really giving me a lot of trouble. I tried to keep everybody away from the drain force range. Um, and that Ketone is very tanky. She has 40% resist uh, and with protect. And I, okay, so here is where I get a lucky break. So you can see I have a 40% chance to hit both of them. And I actually land the hit on both of them somehow, very luckily. Um, and now that she has slash res down, I attack again with my King Mont and I land another 47% uh, chance hit. But this time because of slash resist, he does 3k on her. And that's how I win. Uh, other, if I did not land these two hits, I, I, I'm like, you know, 90% sure I would have lost. So compare this to the first fight where the player just gave me room to approach and I have the range. It's so much easier for me, right? Um, now, actually, I actually cannot show you the end of this match because uh, my file got corrupted. But I wanted to show you uh, as much as I can of this and just contrast these two. These two fights were actually like, you know, one happened and then the other one happened right after and uh, you can see how much more difficulty I'm having with this fight than the other one. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I mean, that's all I want to say. I, I'll let you guys watch the rest of this as much as it's there. I believe it got corrupted. That's the, that's the, um, uh, what is it called? That's a message that it gave me. So I don't think it goes all the way to the end, but um, you can see as much of this fight as it lets. I don't have any other comments to say, except like, you know, if you're playing against a person's Rangers and you're not range, rush. Don't even wait for one turn to buff. Move while you're buffing. Otherwise, you're giving the person playing range a uh, lot of room. So basically, you can see there, I landed that 3k hit. I just had a lot of luck in this match. Um, if not, I would have probably lost. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this uh, like tip, I guess. Um, again, no hate to either of the players, you know, like it's a hard game especially like you, if you don't know exactly how to handle a team and there are bad matchups and things like that and i mean corwell is quite like an anti-earth matchup really so uh you know no hate to either of the players again um gg uh anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys think and if you have any comments leave them down below take care guys see you